Hello everyone and in today's video I'll be showing you all tips and tricks on how to trade smart on Brickhill as in my opinion trading is the most efficient way to gain bucks on Brickhill and you guys can have a word on this as I've been trading on Brickhill for more than three years plus I have almost 300,000 rap on Brickhill so now without further ado hope you like it so to start it off, one of the essential things you should have to start trading on Brickyu is having this currency called Bucks. This is the main starter factor you need to trade on Brickyu. In fact, it's the essential thing to buy anything on Brickyu. And if you aren't able to have Bucks, stick to this video cause later I'll show you something very interesting that can help you out. Now when you have a decent amount of Bucks, what you, what you should do is try searching for the best items to start trading. There are two paths you could go, and we'll go through the first one which is getting small items. In Brickhill, the smaller items are one of the most circulated specials on Brickhill, varying from 0 to 500 bucks. What you could try to do is getting a small special and trading it for another small special but with a small amount of profit like, I don't know, 5 bucks their side for example. And with this you could work out your way to a big special. This is a very tedious method, but it can very much work out. Next, what we have is accumulating lots of small items and upgrading into bigger items. People like FOP, for example, like having lots of smalls for whatever reason. So whenever you gather them all, you could then upgrade to him by overpaying a bit. The only problem with this is that you have to spend like more bucks and even money on Brickyu if you consider that. On the second path, getting a decent amount of bucks and looking for items you think would have would do well in the future, like items that look good, low amount of active copies, item items that have a decent stock. You get the idea. There are more than 300 specials on Brickyu, so I really do feel like you can find something that will stand out in the future. Now, a more passive yet decent thing you could do is having spare bucks for new specials. On BreQ, new specials release constantly, variating on the price. They are very good. They are very good steps to start trading in BreQ. As I myself started trading when I first got the Golden Squid Hat. Just make sure not to immediately trade it as it sells out, as you might take a big loss. I myself wait around a week or two, as that's when the item gets more stable to trade or sell it. A essential thing to this is having a Discord server notifier, as they are the first one to notify when a new special comes out. The best ones are Not Notifier and whatever this name is. Going back to what I was talking about, if you really don't have the bucks and want to start trading on Brickyu, uh, a good thing to do is getting all free event items. Let me explain. From time to time, Brickyu does events on the website and it's quite common for them to go in special. In fact, one of the items from the last Christmas event, the Wintry Party Crown, has been selling for almost 200 bucks. Which is a very big profit considering you got it for free. So it's always helpful to complete events on Brickyu, as most of the times I do tutorials for them. So make sure on the next event on Brickyu, you pay close attention and try to collecting every item from the event. Now, a helpful step when it comes to trading is asking for help when someone sends you a trade. Let me explain. In Brickyu, there are lots of people who try sharking your items. It's currently on screen if you don't know what it means. The most reliable place to ask for help when it comes to trading is the trading channel on the Brickyu Discord server, as there is one of the most active places when it comes to trading, and tons of people will give their opinion on your trade. If you're lucky, I might be online when you send your trade, so even I myself might give my opinion on it. Talking about Discord, make sure to follow spreadsheets. This is because following a rap on Brickyu is most times unhelpful and even misleading. Break your trading community is one of the most reliable ones currently, as it's proof praised by the community itself, so you could join if you would like. Finally, something that will also help you out a lot when it comes to trading is advertising your items. This is one of the fastest ways to get trades, and I myself do this for the longest times I've been trading. If you would like to advertise, you could go to the marketplace section on the forums on Brickyu, the trading channel on the Brickyu server, general on the Brickyu trading community discord server, and on lounge on the Trade Hill discord server, as these are the most active channels when it comes to trading. 
The more you do it, the more you receive trades. Just please, for the love of God, please do not spam. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully learned some tricks to get rich on Brick Hill. Tell me in the comments what you thought of it. I'm Nick and goodbye.